we spent last weekend in Chester. That's where that intro footage is from. But if you're visiting Chester, there's a secret stash with 2K Aglet in it right here. Now an update on our switches. I wanted the neon one, Becky wanted the gray one. The only place nearby that had a gray one in stock is Buxton. So we're heading there. So I'm here in Buxton. It seems like I've just missed the rain. There's a rainbow over there. But here in this Argos bag, we have the switches. Becky's gray one, my neon one. Now I just need to get home as fast as possible. Legally, of course. So I'm back home with my Switch, but I can't play on it yet. Reason number one, I'm waiting for Becky. And number two, we have to build a new shoe shelf. I don't know if you can see in there, but the wall has just come apart. Becky's shelf weighed way too much. So we're taking everything off being done with these shelves and we're building a not as good shelf, but something that fits all our shoes on and it's gonna go in the bedroom instead of in here. In here being our spare bedroom. This was the blank wall that had the wardrobe in my first video, and now we've got a bed and got rid of that wardrobe. But yeah, I'd like to thank Dan the man for sorting this out that we could go and pick up the switches. It just means I've got this evening and tomorrow to play my switch before I go back to work on Sunday. And I can't lie to you, I'm just buzzing. <laughs> So it's a cold and wet Saturday morning, but we have the new Dire Wolves shop drop. Should probably do this, shouldn't I? Much better. So we have eight new shoes in this Dire Wolves sponsored shop drop. We have four Yeezy 350 V2s, the Elvers, the Fundrays, J Caps, and the Fluoros. All those are tier four shoes. We also have the Adidas Ultra Boost Don, the Reebok Club C Labs, which I really rate if that silhouette was chosen by Lab. And finally, the two Aglet One Highs, the Dire Wolves and the Jordations. Now back to the start, the best of the tier four Yeezys is the Fluoros. They make you about 7.5K when using Sneaker Shine and near enough 10K when you dead stock them. With the Club Cs and the Ultra Boost Dons, they're about as efficient as the now sold out Jaden Smith Vision Racers. And they earn you about 18 and just under 21k aglet respectively when using deadstock stations. When it comes to using Sneaker Shine, expect those profits to be about halved. Where this drop really bangs is my favourite shoe from the drop, the Aglet 1 Dire Wolves. Now there aren't many pairs left of this shoe, it may sell out while I'm recording this. The Aglet 1 Dire Wolves has nothing really to compare it to when it comes to Sneaker Shine, but it's sat between the Aglet 1 Sprint Sample and the Fear of God 1 Triple Blacks as the second most efficient shoe to Sneaker Shine in the game ever, earning you 46k Aglet in the process. And when it comes to dead stocking, the Aglet 1 High Dire Wolves is the fifth most efficient shoe to dead stock in the game since the beginning, earning you 62k Aglet when you dead stock. And finally, the last shoe of the drop, the Tier 2 Jordations. Although the Jordation is actually more efficient than the Dire Wolves when dead stocking, I recommend the Dire Wolves over the Jordations, and I have three reasons why. Firstly, the price. The Jordations cost over double the Dire Wolves, so getting the shoe is instantly double as hard. Secondly, the tier of the shoe means you need a tier 2 dead stock station to repair it fully, and as we know, many players don't have those nearby. And thirdly, kind of tying into the previous reason, with the Dire Wolves, you have the option to use Sneaker Shine on them and make money. Whereas with the Jordations, you don't. So that pretty much sums up today's video. The drop today was actually quite limited. Well, I hope you all copped what you wanted to cop. I'm off to play on my brand new Switch. I'll see you in a bit. Peace. <laughs>